CR Nuts Motorsports, Ken here. Thought I'd give you a quick update where we stand. Been doing a lot of uh, polishing, bagging, tagging. Every nut and bolt that's come off the bike is being clean, processed. We're about ready to pull the engine out of the frame and start into that. Couple things I want to accomplish today. It's a cold day. Winter is here. It is nippy. The plants are inside. Got the heater cranked up. So here's what we got going. I've got to finish polishing this case. This case is a piece of crap like all the bike was. And I'm going to make it look like, oh, look at the forks. So I got to get that accomplished. Everything's being bagged and tagged and put in this box and it's all labeled and marked every nut and bolt polished okay i got another box of just parts that need to be painted and i have another box of everything that's going to be chrome powder coated the thought occurred to me casey brought this up to my attention yesterday the rims Okay, like this one here, I started to sandblast, and you can tell it looks, you know, better, shall we say. But this one is untouched. And it looks like crap. We're going to put new tires on it, so i got to break down the tires today. I've got to pull off this rocket right here. Come here, hold that. Pull off this rocket. And also, I'm going to pull off this part. And I'm going to paint those black. So, I'll, you know, pull them off, uh, wire wheel them, and put them into a to-be painted box. Because tomorrow, uh, or this coming week, today's Sunday, it will be a painting day. Uh, I'll make one day a painting day. I bought a new 3M Accutech gun, which I'm anxious to use. Christmas peasant to myself. So I got to get that done. So I think I'm going to polish uh, the case first. Polish this case out and make it a mirror. Hey, this is Ken, CRNS Motorsports. Just wanted to take a quick second to remind you to like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, means the world of difference to us. And if you have a friend who might be interested in the video, please share. So, thank you very much, and let's get on with the show. I will move on to pulling these sprockets. Get that off. Get the rear drive sprocket off. And then I'll get those cleaned up, put them in the 2B paint box. That was easy. That was easy. Clean this up, paint it. When you're looking When you're looking at a gear, you can tell if they're worn, if they look like a wave, in other words, they're kind of shaped over, they're kind of bent like that, that indicates they're worn out. This looks fine. On the sprocket, it's got like a safety tabs that have to be, you fold them up when you tighten the sprocket. Ooh, this was loose. See that? Anyways, this needs to be flattened. That's not good, but we'll take care of it. What you get with an older bike.
How come this one is spinning? Here's what I'm studying. Now, I haven't read the manual. It should be that freaking hard. But all these see, you got three, but this one, see, all these are just you know, they just come out. But this one has got this stud. That was the one the bolt wouldn't come off. I'm gonna put it in the vise, put it in the vise, hold it, and take it off. But it's got the one spot. Very interesting. Put it in the vise, it came right off. So interesting. Boy, these things looked a little hammered too. Oh yeah. Clean all this stuff up. Make it right. I gotta take these two that have been broken at the back. Gotta take these two out. They don't want to seem to come. And I was worried about damaging the threads, but don't have to worry about that no more. Don't think that's a problem. Hell, if I can't get these, <laughs> I may have to buy a new one. I think it's time for the torch. Gonna smoke these a little bit. Got one. <clears throat> what was that? Checking it for level. Bench has been beat on quite a bit. So I think we're okay. So I'm going to go ahead and after it cools off, wire wheel this and put it in the 2B painted box after I treat it with metal etch. And then I got to go and clean up all these pieces. So let that cool for a minute. A little toasty. Thank you.